Let me welcome you at the EBB booth. My name is Thomas Stauding. I'm in charge of the vertical segments and technical marketing. With me is Jan Pape. You want to say a few words about Jan yourself? Jan Pape from uh, Texas Instruments. I'm responsible for the European distribution business and thank you for having me here at the EBB booth. And we want to talk a bit about Internet of Things. Uh, it looks like it's going to be an important trend for all of us, right? Um, we see a lot of things happening, different applications, but on the other hand, it's going really from a hype a buzzword into what's happening in the different applications. A few of the things we're showing here at the booth, like connected car, like uh, NFC, like uh, smart home. What do you see for TI, the major things in the Internet of Things that you feel are important for you? Good question, Thomas. Um, Internet of Things, I think, let me start. When you walk around the fair, it seems the word everybody is in the Internet of Things. The interesting piece for us for Internet of Things is the Internet of Things is only the buzzword or the theory, the technology in the middle of it, connecting a lot of things. So it's not really something what you or I sell, right? It's actually the application which it enables. And uh, for us being in this industry for a while, we've talked about connecting things for many, many years. And I think the really exciting step today is we are at the moment at the beginning that we can connect things, starting from wearables whether it being something like this, health equipment, mm -hmm. over industrial equipment, you have industrial controls, connecting that with everything, right? Um, it is increasing the amount of semiconductors into spaces where we didn't think That's true. five, ten years ago that we would have a lot of opportunities. For us at TI, Texas Instruments, it's a perfect match to our portfolio, whether it's from the connectivity side, over to the processor side, down to the security levels, which are all topics which are of key interest um, for people having to invest into the Internet of Things market. And I think one of the things <coughs> we're seeing actually is you see two different types of companies now engaging in, in the Internet of Things. Companies that enhance their products with uh, connectivity, with security, with sensors. And on the other hand, new startups coming up like Netatmo, the guys that are doing better stations, where you all of a sudden have a new application. Absolutely. And I think that is driving content for us. It's a bit like in the automotive industry. One part is more semiconductor content in the current applications, yes. but it's also new companies added to the mix. Absolutely. And that's uh, what we see as Texas Instruments also as a huge different trend, perfectly matching, I think, our strategy, also the teamwork with you at EBB. Because it's not like the original start of the semiconductor industries, whether it's PCs or then cell phones, where yeah. you have very narrow set vertical segments where you need custom solutions, etc. Et Here we have a huge wealth of different companies, new startup companies. They're companies who have not really that much electronic experience, have to come up with integration capabilities, as you said, connectivity, interface, security, processor, memory, etc., etc. <clears throat> combined with a lot of varieties of new startup companies that gives for us the need having strong partners like EBV to be able to serve those, to connect the dots, but also a third party network because there's software requirements which is not something what we focus on as we uh, focus on the technologies of components, but with your connection to the customers, with the third party network, there is a lot of opportunities I see coming up. And I, I think you're hitting on a good point because the big difference I see between you when connectivity started, it was computer and mobile phones, right? These are big accounts, big companies driving that. Here, we're looking at a very diverse portfolio of customers. Customers that move into that market either as a startup or as a company that has a very clear focus and they need help. Yes. I think this is basically one of the things we need to overcome because there is not a wireless standard. I think no. that's one of the things you're driving with your wireless of offering, right? You hold the whole breadth. There is not a security standard. Companies are looking for guidance on that. There is not the ideal solution when it comes to power, etc., etc. And I think that is where we can help as distribution with an offering like TIs, the customers to come up with a real good value proposition and basically a good product at the end. Absolutely. Wireless standards from Wi-Fi, low power, <coughs> low power Bluetooth, Zigbee, you know them, is one of the one end of the spectrum. 
you know, as most of the stuff, a lot of the stuff will be very power sensitive. If it's remote battery powered solutions, having solutions on power management, which enable maybe applications to run off two batteries for a year without recharging are challenges. Leading edge power management solution, power solution, power portfolio is a key. But then on the processor side, from simple microcontrollers up to multi-core DSPs, depending whether you talk about the server solutions, where you have to put the data on the cloud, mm -hmm. but also then being able to integrate the security solutions on the platform of an MSD430, for example, with the right security software, are key things to be developing together with the customers. And a lot of those startup companies, they might be starting off being expert in connectivity, not the other ones, or vice versa, or power management. Um, so I see that as uh, for the next couple of years to be one of the greatest trends. I think we're at the very beginning. There are some companies out in the market, big companies who talk about up to 50 billion units of end equipment. Yep. That in itself gets me and I think you very much excited, right? We're, Absolutely. Uh, and, but I think the, the point we, are, we both agree on is it's an internet thing, it's a hype. We need to go down to the application level. That's yeah. what we're trying to do with our market segments to build the expertise, what you need in a certain, if it's car to car and automotive, smart home, if it's healthcare, remote patient monitoring, stuff like that, to understand what are the requirements and complement that with the right technologies. Yes. That's why we have those technology segments like RF, like identification. Yeah. At the end of the day, we need to deliver a value proposition and help the customers that basically are in a situation that they enter new. Um, grounds, new areas where they basically have little expertise. Yes. And I think that's one of the key challenges. And I think the key challenge for us is to find all these opportunities. Because as you said earlier, there's a lot of companies we usually don't interact directly by ourselves with because they're small, they're new, mm -hmm. they come out of areas which we don't usually have contact with. Your broad portfolio, your broad reach of Salesforce is a great starting point. I think see that for a long term to be a great distribution business as well. Absolutely. A lot of new companies, a lot of new individual opportunities, connecting them with the existing customer network to actually build stuff will be a great opportunity for you and for that one, for us at Texas Instruments as well. So I think that's a great future going forward. Absolutely. What do you see actually going forward after the Internet of Things? Good question. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I've yet spent enough time to get to see beyond those uh, those uh, those things which might come after that. Uh, looking at this challenge, I think we will have a number of years with a lot of things evolutionary develop out of this. I think we only see the beginning, whether it's medical equipment, whether that is industrial applications, whether that is, as I said, in automotive, we started first engine management, then safety, ADAS solutions. <laughs> Now we're actually in the, inter in the connecting things, to have Wi-Fi in the car, to be connected to things, have information everywhere. Um, I think we're at the beginning of it. We're still going to see a lot of applications which we today would say are linked to Internet of Things. Maybe in five years we say there is something which we give a new name, but I think it will still be very much driven out of this. So I I wouldn't be able to tell you what, what comes well, after Internet of Things. It's kind of having a crystal ball, but one of the things I personally believe in is that we're right now building the platform with the Internet of Things for autonomous devices, yes. like robotics, like the drones, stuff that is basically has the intelligence and is getting more and more independent. Yes. And I think that's going to be an interesting one to watch. But honestly, I'm with you, right? We all don't have a crystal ball, and uh, so far, I think the challenge is big enough that we have to tackle, Yeah, and it's going to be fun, and I think we're going to have a nice growth there. I agree. I mean, the challenges for us on what we developed today for the applications in this theme, under the theme of Internet of Things, will also continue for what comes afterwards. Pretty similar. We want to have more things connected, more intelligence, more data, which we can actually use the way yeah. we, which makes our life easier, your life, my life, everybody's life easier to use those fun things. So you need low power, you need connectivity, you need security because more data we want to use, we want to make sure none of our other colleagues around understand knows what your data is about or my data. Right? And having this all in a very small, easy to use environment will be for a long time the theme of the future. That sounds like a great summary. Yeah, thanks a lot for the Thomas, time. Absolutely. I think Look forward to working with you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.